Hello there, fam bam. Welcome back to my channel. So, uh, we are going to do another cooking vlog. Kasi, sa tataw lang, na tayong ibang gagawin dito sa bahay. Pati kumain ng kumain. Sensya na. Pero, hindi lang kain. Na dapat mag-workout din kayo para hindi dumoble yung weight nyo. Di ba? So hello everyone, welcome back again to another cooking vlog. Uh, today we are going to make our own tuna pasta and fried chicken. So here are the ingredients that I'm going to use. Uh, for my pasta, I will use one pack of good spaghetti. And for my tuna, I'm going to use this uh, three cans of al-alali light tuna. Also, I'm going to use some onion and garlic. And a little bit of salt and black pepper garlic uh, powder and onion powder okay let's get started so first of all I am going to peel off the garlic and prepare it to be chopped I really love garlic in most of my dishes so I think I used almost 8 to 10 uh, cloves of garlic Next, uh, I will peel off also the onion and prepare it to be washed and chopped as well. So here, I added the garlic and onion into my food processor. Uh, actually, this is my go-to method to avoid crying while chopping the onions. Okay, so next I will chop some tomatoes into normal chunks. Uh, this will give an additional flavor for my tuna pasta. So now we're going to start cooking. Uh, first of all, I'll be adding the oil of the tuna into the pan. This oil is really rich of uh, tuna flavor, so you have to take advantage of it by using it as the oil which you're going to cook the onion, garlic, and tomato with. Next, I will add some butter for an additional boost of richness and yumminess. Let's be honest, who doesn't like butter in their recipe? Now we will start adding the minced onion and garlic and cook it for a minute or two. Just please be careful that you need to keep an eye on it because the onion and garlic burns really fast. And I really don't like the burnt taste that uh, appears in my pasta. Next, we'll be adding the tomato into the onion and garlic. When it is soft or cooked through, try to press the tomato to release its natural juices. Also, you will see me here adding the pasta into the boiling water. I also added earlier uh, into the water some salt for flavor and oil to avoid the pasta from sticking with each other. So now I am adding the tuna into the pan. Uh, I try to break the tuna into smaller pieces to give it a smoother finish and to allow it to stick to the pasta when we add it all together. Next, 
Next, we'll be adding some uh, onion powder, garlic powder, as well as black pepper. I actually don't have a specific measurement for each of the things that I'm using. I'm just adding it according to my taste. So I felt that my tuna is a little bit dry, so I just added a little bit of olive oil, I think around one tablespoon, just to bring back the moisture to my tuna. I added a little of pasta water into the pan so I can create a little broth for the tuna to cook in. I also added magic sarap into my tuna because we are Filipinos and we use this seasoning almost in everything that we cook. Okay, so last step is I added the cooked pasta into my tuna sauce and I have to just stir it well so all of the pasta can absorb all of those goodness from the tuna sauce. So here guys is the final product. I hope you like it. Give it a try. Okay, next is we're going to do my favorite fried chicken ala mama di. So uh, these uh, are the ingredients. Of course, we're going to need a different kind of uh, chicken parts. Then uh, I'm going also to use an all-purpose flour. Okay, let's flip it to the English part. Yes, that's the one. And I'm going to use also this garlic chicken wing sauce. You can find it in most of the supermarkets. And I'm also going to add, come on, focus. Yes, uh, the uh, chicken seasoning. I got this from Carefor. And of course, I'm going to use some black pepper. And let's not forget, of course, we're going to add some salt. I'm going to add this garlic chicken wing sauce uh, into the chicken and going to marinate it for uh, around an hour, one and a half hour. Uh, this will give the chicken this uh, garlicky flavor that I really, really like. In another container, I'm going to dredge this flour and of course I'm going to add to it the other spices such as uh, this chicken roastery, black pepper, and salt. So I already heated the oil and now I'm just going to add the chicken into the flour mixture that we made earlier and I'm just going to fry it until it's going to be golden brown. So once you see that, so it means it's already cooked and ready for it to be served. So guys, this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and I'll see you in my next one.